Okay, for this is for you people with the HP Elite One system. That's a very nice system. Got the nice concave screen as you can see here. Problem is the early versions came with a very, very small hard drive. I think it was like 250 gigs SSD P2. And so this is a quick video to show you how to swap out the hard drive. Step one, there are buttons on both sides right here and right here. First thing you want to do is just push those in, pop that guy off. So now they're popped off. Now, right here, you got a clip here and a clip here. So this one's a little trickier. Now you want to fight the urge to pinch. You're not pinching to the side, you're pushing to the forward. So once you push to the forward, it'll pop off. Now don't yank it off because there is a plug that attaches that power button here to the motherboard. Um, if you're concerned about getting a short you can disconnect it right there. I'm just gonna push it out of the way. Now you're gonna look at all this stuff and get a little overwhelmed and you're gonna to to start pulling stuff off. Not necessary. The hard drive is here underneath this processor fan. So unplug this fan by gently pulling the wire out of the motherboard. Take your fingers and just rock, 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 pop. There you go. There is your hard drive. So what you need now is a small felt head screwdriver like so pull it out now your question is if I just put in a new one I'm gonna lose all my data well I have already pre-planned for this so I already got them a hard drive um, full disclosure when I ordered it I got her the wrong drive and so I had to return it and I will show you what happened before but basically you can see her drive has one slot. The one I bought had two slots. So what I did is I went ahead and copied the drive, tried to put it in her machine, it fit, but it would not read it. So what I have done is while I was waiting for the new one to come in, I still have her original one. And so I went ahead and copied the one that didn't fit to the new one that's already come in the mail. So what I'm hoping now is I can shut down the system, pull this card out, and then take the hard drive out that I've already copied, pop it in there, and have the job done. That way I can return this computer to her and she can get her job done. Okay, so here's how this works. You got two slots here. This goes in your PCI Express. There's SATA cables that connect here, which reads the data. So here's the caveat. This particular card has one slot for the card with one notch and one slot for the card with two notches. And you say, well, there's no thumb here, so the one with two, one notch should fit here, but no, that's actually where you want the notch. And so, long story short, um, if you're going to do a drive to drive transfer the correct way, make sure you get a card that has slots for two of the card that you particularly need. And so, here you can see the original card I got has two notches, where these have one. So now I'm hoping I can just pop this one in her computer and be done because I've already done the transfer. If not, if it doesn't boot, I'm going to have to take her original one and do the transfer again, which is going to be time consuming because i got to copy it to the other card again and then to this one. So hopefully this works. So now we got the new card in there. Put our fan back on. Plug this back in. Sometimes it's actually easier to plug the fan in before you put it back in. So I'm going to pop it back out which seems a little counterintuitive, but it actually is easier to plug in, as you can see. So plug the fan first, then pop it back in. Let's take our case here and put it back on. Let's plug in our power brick. Pivot this bad boy. Hit our power button. And cross our fingers. Let's see what happens. Oh, that's a good sign. That is the Windows spinny wheel. So at least we know that there's Windows on this drive that I copied. And there we go. Perfect. A um, little secret for you though. What I have found out when ghosting hard drives, um, a lot of times if you're using QuickBooks and programs like that, the license file somehow doesn't get copied over all the way. 
and so what you have to do is reactivate your QuickBooks. I don't know, it's QuickBooks, what do you expect? But I'm gonna tab this, we don't care about that update. And there we go. This has been a Digital 410 production. <laughs>